You can't get your Shure SM7B to get tight again. Here's how to do it. The first step is to grab one of the plastic washers. We'll take the plastic washer and we'll put it on either side. I'll just start with one side to make it easy. The next thing is we take one of our brass washers. I believe that the brass washer, washer from the inside set is the identical spec as the outside. Now, before you just place that on, I do wanna show you, this is important. Every washer has an outside and it has an inside. So we wanna place the sharp side down. Now what we're going to do is repeat that same thing on the other side. One thing I like to do is put my finger here so that way when I go to flip it, the washers don't fall off. Now that we have the first two washers on each side of the microphone, we can place the bracket on. When placing the bracket, it's important to be mindful of all the orientations of all the things involved. So you'll notice on the microphone, there's one side that has text and the other side doesn't. One side says sure, the other side doesn't say sure. We want the side that says sure to always be facing toward the bracket. Now, this microphone allows you to change the orientation of the bracket for, from having the XLR in front to the back. I'm going to keep the XLR in front because I'm going to use this for a podcasting situation and it helps with cable management. It can be a little bit tricky to get the bracket into both sides. Sometimes it can be helpful to kind of get it partway into one side and then flip to the other side that's how it should look on both sides. It's time to put in one of these little metal sleeve things, these little brass sleeve things. And we're going to place it right on top. Now, right away, it doesn't really fall into place. So I'm going to shake the bracket a little bit and you might see it fall into place. You're not done here yet. This is not in all the way, actually. That's not deep enough. There is an obstruction and it's those little washers that we put in from before. This is not an easy thing and it takes me a second to, to get it to. All right, hopefully you made it past that uh, tricky part there of getting that sleeve all the way in. You really wanna make sure it's all the way in and, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't um, rest, you know, absolutely flush, but you do wanna make sure that that's uh, pretty darn close anyway. The next thing is to grab a brass washer one of the brass colored ones. Now make sure that the rounded edge is facing out. We're going to place that in, making sure that it's not askew. We want that to rest nice and evenly. And the next thing you'll want to do is find your little wavy washer feller. And this one, like the other washers, it does have two sides. It's a little bit harder to tell. Um, I find that actually looking at the bottom side, there's something about the bottom side. Um, this is the bottom side. There's something about it as far as like the reflection is concerned um, that actually makes it distinguishable. So I'm going to put the back side of it flush with the microphone. Again, ensuring that things have leveled out. The final step is to take this little feller and this also has an inside and outside. We're looking at the outside, that's the inside. So I'm gonna place inside flush let it rest flat. And then the last step is finally putting the cap back on. Now for the moment of truth. Will it hold? Yep. And that is how to properly put back together the bracket on the Shure SM7B.